Hi, I'm Mitch Shoemaker, and today is day 96, 97, day 97, today is day 97, sorry, am <laughs> I doing 100 days of YouTube videos, I'm focusing on today, so yay, I made it to day 97, um, <laughs> today was insane, I want to say today sucked, but it didn't suck, it was actually a really productive day, it was a really good day, um, I'm just really struggling, it's one of those, um, I don't know what you call them, oxymoron days, one of those complete opposite days. I just, I don't even know. Um, I've been dealing with anxiety all day today. I don't have explanations for that. At one point this morning, I felt like I was shaking. I don't think I was like physically shaking, but I just felt like I was shaking. Um, I was just super anxious, super nervous, and I have no reason to be. I have no explanations for why. Um, and I thought, you know, maybe it was because I had an interview today for a job. And then even after that was over, I was still still anxious, still antsy, still just, ugh. And then I came home from work tonight, and I still, it took me forever to, like, unwind. And I'm still, I'm, I think writing in my journal helped me unwind the most. But um, I was kind of at the point where I'm like, okay, I'm ready to fall asleep while I'm writing in my journal. I'm like, ah, but then I got to get up, but I got to do my video, and then I got to do this, and I got to do that. And the anxiety is just, like, building again. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, it needs to stop. Um... And I was out working tonight, and I was replaying something in my head, and I was like, stop. I kept telling myself to stop because I know it's pointless. I I know that replaying stuff from the past, especially stuff that just recently happened, I'm like, I can't change it. It's it's done. It's over. I didn't make it. I mean, I made a mistake, and I had to correct it, and I corrected the mistake. The problem was done. There's nothing more I could do. But I kept replaying it in my mind, and I was like, what the heck am I replaying this for? I can't do anything else. It's done it's done it's taken care of there's nothing more for me to do so i was just like praying and begging heavenly father to just please help me to stop help me to calm down help me to just something because i'm just making myself crazy but um i did use my anxiety to make myself more productive today probably tortured my body a little bit more than i should have but that's okay i'm like i i um i went and got my car taken care of this morning or this afternoon uh, before my interview. Um, and I was really grateful that they didn't charge me anything for it. So I'm like, yay, it didn't cost me anything to get it fixed. I, I'm sure it's because it was something simple. All I had to do was like, um, I don't know, screw something back in that came loose or just take something off. I don't know. It's not like it was broken, broken. It was just something, you know, was dragging. And I think they have those little plastic things they put underneath the car that's supposed to protect it to keep stuff from flying up underneath it. Um, but it's not necessary. It's just, I mean, well, I guess it is because it protects stuff. But um, I think it was something like that that just came loose. So it's probably like an easy fix and they didn't charge me for it, which I'm really, really grateful for. Because I was like, okay, how much money am I going to have to do this? How am I going to do that? And I just, and the thing is, I know, I know that God has been taking care of me. He's helped me with all of my finances. He's shown me all of this stuff that I'm, that I'm okay, that he's taking care of me, that everything is okay. But it's, it's this thing about having the PTSD. It's this thing about having anxiety. And it doesn't matter how much my mind knows that I'm okay and that God is in charge and that everything is going to work out. My emotions, my nervous system do not respond to that. <laughs> they just, they don't. They're just like, okay, that's cool. Everything's okay. Okay, that's cool. Everything's okay. I'm shaking. I'm freaking out. Everything's okay. And it's like, why? <laughs> but telling myself everything is okay doesn't always make it okay. Um, even though I know it's okay. It's, it's just one of those very frustrating parts about, about my life when things like this just come up. Because I can't, I can't control it. I don't know exactly what causes it. I don't know what triggered it. I have ideas as to what triggered it today, but um, I mean, I have a lot going on. I'm trying to pay my bills. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to pay the dentist in a couple of weeks to get my crown um, for my tooth, which I need to do. I'm looking for other forms of employment. I had a job interview today. So, I mean, I have things going on. I have stuff in the works. I need to work on my book that I haven't done. I've just kind of been avoiding that too. So, and I'm injured and trying to figure out how to find the right doctor or person to like figure out what's going on with it or just realizing that okay I just need to put my foot up for like probably two or three weeks and it'll feel better after that but it's just 
I can't afford to stay off of my foot for two two or three weeks. So it's just prolonging the inevitable and it's dragging out the injury and making it difficult for it to heal. Because when I do stay off of it for a couple of days, the swelling goes down and I start to feel better. And I'm like, hey, I can move around more. It doesn't hurt as much. And then I do something dumb like go to work for nine hours, which I did tonight. Um, (laughs) Not really sure it was worth it because I still didn't feel like I made a whole lot of money. Um, But I went to work tonight for nine hours, and so now my foot is just, it, it just hates me, <laughs> which, I mean, I, I, don't, I don't blame it. I tortured it all night. So um, I actually wanted to work more hours because I didn't make as much as I wanted to when I was trying to hit a, a certain goal tonight, which I didn't quite reach. And I was, I was close, but it was probably going to take me another two, maybe three hours to reach that goal, and it was already like 1130 at night, and I'd been out all day so or all afternoon. And I was like, okay, I just, I need to stop because I need to get something <laughs> <laughs> because I still need to write in my journal, I still need to make my video, I still, you know, then I was thinking, oh, I need to apply for jobs, and I need to go home, I, I was like, oh my gosh, and I did a lot of laundry tonight, too, um, I mean, I started it earlier, then I just kind of left it in my, um, I started it before I went to my job interview with the intention of coming home afterwards, and putting it away, and doing some other stuff before going to work tonight, and instead, I went straight to work, so it, sat in the washer like all day so I was like I'm washing that load again (laughs) so I washed it again and then I put it out to dry because I don't have a dryer um so I'm like I just I can't seem to shut down I can't seem to calm down like I need to calm down and sometimes I think when I get really anxious like this I do things to distract myself like watch tv or play games on my phone or whatever and I'm not even interested in doing that (laughs) I mean I did I did, um, I did heat my foot. I soaked my foot in some Epsom salt tonight, and I did get something to eat, and I watched a, a movie, something I, that came out in the theaters when I was a kid, and I haven't seen it in a really long time, so it was kind of nice to just watch, but I paused it like <laughs> twice before it was over because I had to get up and do stuff, and I was like, oh my gosh, seriously. <laughs> and then I didn't even have anything playing while I was um, writing in my journal. I just sat and wrote in my journal, and I don't know, I wrote several pages before I started falling asleep, and I'm like, okay, I'm falling asleep, I'm falling asleep, and I'm like, my body's shutting down, and now I'm making myself do my video, and the anxiety is just, it's all coming back again. I'm just so annoying to me right now because I know I'm super tired. I am super, super tired. It is way late in the morning. I should be in bed asleep hours ago, and I normally would be. Um, So this is messing up my sleep schedule, and I'm just like, oh, so frustrating to me. (laughs) It really is. But I am grateful for all the stuff that I got done today. I mean, I haven't been able to work. I haven't worked nine hours in, like, seriously over a month. Actually, it's probably been several months <laughs> since I've worked nine hours. Um, so I'm really grateful that somehow I had the energy to do all of that. Um, honestly, don't care that much for the anxiety. But at least, I mean, I wasn't shaking and I was able to work and I wasn't, like, super frustrated with it. I'm just like, okay, I just feel like I have a whole bunch of energy as energy is not the right word for it it's just it because it's anxiety so it's just making me nervous so I just can't relax and since I can't relax I'm just I'm trying to find other things to do um and of course I could find stuff that would be like try to find stuff that's calming and whatever and mostly it just makes me miss my DDR prime because it's just like the perfect reason for taking that um essential oil on a daily basis because it does level things out for me so that I don't have these extreme days like this. But I haven't had that for several months because I haven't had the money for it. So I'm like, I need to make that a priority this month to be able to buy that again because I I don't like being anxious like this. And I don't know how long this is going to last. Um, and I hope it doesn't turn into like a a depression thing because it's kind of you know the anxiety depression it's you know it, it kind of goes back and forth where you get the um kind of like the bipolar effect where you get the one extreme on the other where one you're like super hyper super crazy and then the other like you're super depressed super can't do anything not that i'm bipolar or anything at least i don't think i am <laughs> i don't know i can be wrong but it, or to me it's also you know like a sugar crash where you take you eat all that sugar and you're like oh i get a buzz i'm awesome this is cool and then the sugar is like oh crash i can't do anything so um i hope the crash isn't too hard and um i'm just grateful that i can 
do something with my anxiety today to make myself, not make myself, I just let myself go to work. I, I put myself to work today. I took care of things today, just trying to, trying to deal with it. So instead of just like shaking and freaking out, going, oh my gosh, I'm like, no, no, I'm going to go take care of my car. I took a shower. I went to care of my car. I read my scriptures and meditationals. I went to my job interview. I um, did some laundry. I went to work for nine hours. I wrote in my journal and making my video. It's been a very productive day, which is awesome because I honestly can't tell you when the last time is that I did that much in a day. <laughs> Seriously, it's a lot for me. Um, and I don't know that I can, can to maintain that on a daily basis without crashing right now. I haven't really built myself back up to that stamina point. Um, I just pushed myself because, like I said, it's that um, it's that anxiety, it's that um, adrenaline, whatever that's going on in my body because I'm freaking out about something and I, <laughs> oh, I don't like freaking out about something. It was, and I... I think it was just a text message that was sent to me today that just, it just, it triggered some stuff and it just kind of rubbed me the wrong way and, and uh, I just, I don't even know, I, and I've been trying to let that go all day and it just seems like I keep holding on to everything else today and I'm like, I just need to let it go, I just need to let it go, I just need to let it go, it's not important, I don't have any control over it, I did what I could to take care of it, I, I mean, it's, it's done. It's over. There's nothing I can do about it, but it's just, um, and I, again, that's something that I know mentally, but trying to internalize that, trying to get my, um, nervous system to relax, getting my body to let it go is, is a whole other story. It just, it is, it's just very difficult. Um, so for people that have anxiety, people that have PTSD, it's like getting, sucked back into it and sometimes I feel like I just have emotional PTSD because all these emotions come up and all this stuff comes up and it's like ah, oh, I'm just grateful it didn't turn into like a panic attack or something that crazy but again those are things that can't you know just logically telling someone like okay you're okay and I'm like yeah I know I'm okay but it doesn't stop the attack it doesn't make me feel better it doesn't calm me down um so it's yeah, it's just, but then the problem is I can't feed it either. I have to, I can't, um, because if I keep thinking about what irritated me, it just increases my anxiety. Um, so I have to try to, to, sometimes it helps me to distract myself with other things. Um, and in this case today, I, I went to work for <laughs> probably way more hours until my foot was like screaming at me. And I'm like, okay, fine. I guess I'll stop working because <laughs> I need to go home and take care of that. But I just, I haven't been able to unwind and let myself stop today because I'm just I don't want to journal I did journal about the stuff that I think may be triggering it and all the stuff that I'm stressing about and just the reminder that God is in control and when I read my scriptures and meditationals I did a little bit of like writing to see myself the way that God sees me to know what I need to know today and was just reminded that I I only have puzzle pieces of what my future is going to be. I only have ideas as to what the picture is going to look like when it's completed, but I don't really know. And God knows the big picture. He has the big picture in front of him. He knows where all the puzzle pieces in my life go. And I, I don't. So um, I keep trying different ones, keep flipping things around, trying to figure out what fits, what doesn't. Um, it's a fun little adventure for me to try to figure all of that out. But sometimes it makes me anxious because I don't know where I'm going or how it's going to work out. But it was, you know, a nice little reminder that God's got this and I just need to continue to trust him. And it's, I mean, he's proven himself multiple times. and very trustworthy and he's taking care of me. And I, you know, um, he cares about me and what I need and puts me first. <laughs> At least it feels like that way. Um, so I know that I'm, I know that I'm in good hands and I know that everything will work out and I have that peace that I know it's going to be okay, but it still doesn't, it doesn't eliminate the anxiety. I wish that it would. <laughs> it just doesn't, it, it doesn't, which is, like I said, it's my, um, kind of like that oxymoron, my opposite day where I feel like. I'm at peace and I know everything is going to be okay and I am 
anxious and freaking out for absolutely no reason <laughs> for probably a whole bunch of old stuff that's just been triggered, stuff that still needs to be processed or worked through, and it can't all be worked through in a day, and it's going to take time and um, or just some kind of imbalance, which is why I need my DDR prime or some other kind of um, medication to kind of just balance stuff out because I can't... Um, I can't always do that on my own. I do need help. I do need outside resources. So this is just a reminder that I need outside resources, that I do need help, that I can't just do everything myself. And it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to seek advice and counsel from other people. It's okay. And it's okay to just, you know, be a little bit crazy sometimes. But I am grateful that instead of spending my day freaking out or instead of spending my day trying to avoid whatever it is that I'm feeling, I I attempted to face things that needed to be done um, to try to eliminate some of the anxiety. Because I took care of my car, job interview, those are at least a couple of things out of the way. I went to work to try to make some money so I could pay some bills. I mean, there's some things I'm attempting to do. So um, it's not everything because I can't do everything all in one day and that's okay. And I had to remind myself of that today too because I wanted to apply for some jobs and I just, I was like, I just don't, it's not a good idea tonight because I need to rest, I need to eat, I need to <laughs> journal, I need to just unwind and not keep doing stuff to um, rile myself up basically. So um, I need to not feed the anxiety is what I'm basically I'm like, no, it's okay to do stuff that will help to um, eliminate that, get rid of the stuff that I've been avoiding doing because the more of those things that I face and the, then they can't, I can't worry about them. I can't stress about them because they're done. But even stuff that's done, I just, just keeps replaying in my head and I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I wanted to just go away. So um, journaling helped with that a little bit tonight, but the repetition, I'm still doing it in the video. I'm still anxious. Um, so I'm really hoping and praying that I can <laughs> find some way to relax and unwind and um, get my mind focused on something else so that I, so that I can sleep because um, I know I had a good day. I know I did a whole bunch of productive stuff. I just don't like that something from my past is triggered, got triggered today, and that it's um, taken over emotionally how I'm feeling today, which is just really, really annoying because I, I'm battling the two sets of emotions. I'm like, I've got today and feeling really good and feeling really productive, and then I've got the past and I'm feeling really anxious and stressed and all kinds of whatever, I don't even know, um, just anxious, uncomfortable, all the unwanted, not knowing what to do, confusion, all of that stuff that's just kind of taken over. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, I, you know, I like the, the peaceful, productive, I'm good. I don't like the, the anxious, going crazy, old stuff that's just, but the anxiety is a lot higher energy. It's a lot um, harder to ignore and get away from. Um, and it, it does. It easily overshadows feeling at peace and knowing that everything is okay. Um, so <laughs> it's just, like I said, I've just, it's been one of those conflicting emotional days today, but it's been a very productive day today. So I'm grateful that it's been a productive day. I'm grateful for the little miracles in my life. I'm grateful that I could still function today in spite of being anxious and shaky and weird. So, <laughs> and I'm grateful that I can still share about all of this because I know other people deal with anxiety and depression and panic attacks and all of those things that I have. I know I'm not the only person that's dealing with that. Um, and I keep seeing on Facebook that the month of May is Mental Awareness Month. So I'm like, oh, cool. Well, you know, mental health awareness or something like that. I don't know. But um, it's kind of like, I guess, a mental health issue, sort of. I don't know. But um, it's definitely an emotional <laughs> issue. <laughs> something that I just, I have to, um, I have to deal with. It's not something that I can um, just get rid of. It's not something that I can just say, tell myself it's okay and it just goes away. It just doesn't, doesn't work that way. 
<laughs> all that self-talk, all that self-love, it just it doesn't fix it. But um, a little bit of journaling helped and doing something with the energy, focusing on other things helped. Um, praying helps. Trying to not focus on um, the trigger is also something that is helpful. Um, I know that seems kind of odd because, I mean, I don't necessarily want to avoid all the triggers. I know sometimes triggers can be good because it brings something to mind for me to work on, to me to work through, for me to let go of, which journaling helped me do a little bit of. But um, sometimes when the anxiety is just a little too high, you kind of mellow it out a little bit in order to deal with whatever the emotion is. Because if it's just that high, it's just, it's hard to think clearly. It's hard to process anything. It's hard to just, you know, deal with whatever it is. It's like you just, all you can do is deal with the emotion. You can't even deal with what the trigger is. So um, got to calm down by doing other things uh, before you can deal with the emotion, um, which, like I said, I, I did a whole bunch of stuff today, and then I was writing in my journal and writing about stuff that triggered it, and then I started to calm down, started to just let some of that stuff go. And then, of course, the whole doing the videos, it's back to being anxious, like when I first started doing my videos, and I was like, breaking out. I'm like, I can't do this. I can't do this. It's like, oh my gosh, seriously, I, I can do this. I've been doing this. This is day 97 of my focusing on today. I did a hundred days of gratitude. I did a hundred days of writing, but I'm also nervous about my next hundred days and what I'm going to be doing and how that's going to work out. And, and again, I know that God is in control and there's a reason he wants me to celebrate my life for the next 100 days. There are things that I need to learn and discover and things that are going to help me to continue to grow and become a better person, to continue to let go of the old stuff from the past, to continue to be able to separate this anxiety stuff as a trigger. It's something from my past. It has nothing to do with today because I know today that I'm okay and I know that everything's going to work out the way that God has planned for me. I just don't know what the plan is. So this is just me trying to be in control because the anxiety makes me feel completely out of control. Um, so I'm just trying to do what things that I can do today um, and not letting myself fall into some form of depression by not doing anything, by avoiding everything because I can't deal with the anxiety. So um, I think I had a better response maybe today, I hope. Maybe I did. I don't know. But um, I know it's still going to take time. And if nothing else, I'm just grateful that I can see I can see the difference in the emotions. And I know the difference. It's just, like I said, I can't, I can't control my emotions. But I am learning that I don't necessarily have to give in to them entirely. I don't have to feed the anxiety to the point that it turns into a panic attack and I'm freaking out, just can't function. So I'm grateful I could still function today. I'm grateful that I could be aware of what my triggers are and what's going on. I'm grateful that I could do some journaling and make these videos. So um, I'm, I'm grateful for all of those things. <laughs> I, I really am. But I am grateful that I was able to put in as many hours at work as I did. And I may be doing that again tomorrow and the rest of this week just because I need to get caught up on my bills. And my foot is going to hate me the entire time, <laughs> but I, they don't know what else to do at this point. So um, it's just going to prolong the healing of that until, you know, it'll get better eventually. I know it will. It's just going to take longer because I'm not allowing myself to rest as much as it needs to rest because I need to work. So such is life. Um, so anyway, that's just kind of where I'm at with me and my my crazy emotional day today, but um, I'm grateful that I got through it, and hopefully I'm unwinding again a little bit more, and I can get some sleep, and I hope that maybe this video is a little bit educational, or at least makes you feel not so alone in all of the <laughs> crazy emotional things, um, and if you like these videos, you can hit like, subscribe, or share with someone else if you think they'll like it too, or you think it'll help them as well, and I think that's all I have for today, so I have Hope you have a great day full of gratitude and maybe do some writing.